friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. It's the Harvest Day Parade. We're just going to the train station. Apple Bloom is about to meet her cousin for the first time, and she's really nervous about it. I want to make a good impression. You know what would make a good impression? What? Being on time to pick her up. Sometimes I love Applejack, but she ends up saying something that inadvertently gets Apple Bloom to move a lot faster. You already have something in common. Neither of you have your cutie mark. Don't forget to tell me something like that! Yep, it's definitely a CMC episode. You know, your cousin is supposed to sleep in here! I relate to Applejack so much in this one. Of course you'll want to join the Cutie Mark Crusaders! I'm just so excited I could burst! Oh, Sweetie Belle's first magic burst. So here comes Apple Bloom's cousin, Bab Seed. If you're familiar with the movie that she somewhat shares a name with, you can guess where this is going. Your cousin Apple Bloom, and this is Sweetie Belle, and this is Scootaloo! Coming on kind of strong there, guys. Take it down a notch. The Summer Harvest Parade is going on while you're here. We get to ride in a float! Anyway, they take her back to the clubhouse and... A club devoted to helping ponies get their cutie marks. She's kind of self-conscious about her lack of a cutie mark. And you seem like the perfect candidate, since you don't have a cutie mark at all. <laughs> She's like, what in the world are you doing with your butt? Sometimes we stand here and think of great ideas. That was too cute. But yeah, Babs doesn't seem too into the Crusader thing. She's from Manhattan. If we want to impress her, we need to really wow her. So they offer to let her ride in their float with them. It'd be totally fun. More like funny. Looking. Can't have a CMC episode without these two little jerks. What is that thing? A giant orange? That's obviously a pumpkin. More like a lame chin. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's the new blank blank? Suppose you're gonna join their little club. What's it called? The Cutie Mark Crusaders. So Babs gets put on the spot here and she doesn't make the best choice. More like the Cutie Mark Crybabies. <laughs> Big city attitude. I like it. Mm -hmm. Check this out. <gasps> yeah, that was a bad idea. I don't think she did that intentionally, but she's taking credit anyway. When I tell Applejack, you gonna tell Applejack what? What are you, a snitch? Come on, Babs. What just happened? Babs did a heel turn, that's what. Still can't believe she ruined our pumpkin flow. So in figuring out what to do about this, Sweetie Belle thinks they should tell Applejack, but the other two are against it. They decide to just try to avoid Babs as much as possible during the two weeks she'll be staying there. Leading into this great little song. First we thought that Babs was so really, really sweet. So much cute. I also love the apple seed motif. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, they have movie theaters in Equestria? That's a little disturbing. And now she's taken over the clubhouse. We never did anything to you. And let's keep it that way. No scram, cry babies. Ba, ba, sugar, la, la. It's always all about the butts with these episodes. <laughs> wow. I see Rarity's dad out there, so they must be in Sweetie Belle's room. It turns out that Apple Bloom has been kicked out of her own bed. Sweetie Belle still thinks they should tell one of the adults about this, and the others are still against it. We need to fight Bea! Oh boy. Moo! Moo! Is that cultural appropriation? Ooh. Oh, Sweetie Belle, you are so like your sister. Anyway, apparently they're making some kind of special float. What's that for? This isn't gonna end well, is it? What is this, Napoleon Dynamite? Vote for Pedro. Oh, Karen, great. Get him here. I love how anytime there's band music playing on the show, it's the same tune Pinkie Pie played in Swarm of the Century. I guess it just really caught on in Ponyville. 
So it turns out that the CMC made a giant golden apple float. Wow, nice going, guys. They expected Babs to steal the float. It was part of their plan. So, of course, Applejack just thinks they were doing something nice for Babs. You know, after all the heartache she's been having in Manhattan. But there's been some bullies back in Manhattan just been teasing her to pieces for her blank flame. It turns out that Babs became a bully because she yep. was being bullied. I'm so proud of y'all. You done a good deed. And now they're continuing the chain. And now we've turned into bullies too! The CMC has booby-trapped the float somehow, and now they have to try to stop it before something bad happens. Let us in! <laughs> Funny joke! Oh, Pinkie Pie. So they take over Pinkie's float and catch up with Babs. Pinkie salad! So much for that good idea. The timer they had set goes off, and Babs loses control of the float. Wow, they were actually gonna kill her. get our cutie marks and stupidest ideas of all time. Now you'd have gotten them by now. After I'd been so mean to you, you saved me. Uh, about that. So they explained to Babs that they were the reason that the float crashed in the first place. Sweetie Belle looks cute with wet hair, another thing she has in common with Rarity. By then, we were the ones being bullies. And, oh, why does life have to be so ironic? That has got to be the best line ever uttered by Sweetie Belle. And possibly anyone else. We're sorry. I'm sorry too. So they're all friends again. And Babs is officially a crusader. <laughs> Aww. And Babs is gonna start a CMC Manhattan branch. And she's going to talk to her big sister about being teased. And if you have any problems, we've got your back, too. You hear? So you're leaving, huh? Now we're stuck here with these lame blank blanks. I see Sweetie Belle as crestfallen, as if there weren't enough puns in this episode. Hey, that's not how you talk to my friends! You tell them, Babs. What are you going to do about it? Tell your mothers about your bad attitudes. She is definitely not someone you want as an enemy. I knew they were gonna fall in the mud as soon as I saw it. Not gonna complain, though. I'm sure gonna miss that bad seed. <laughs> and so ends One Bad Apple. I guess it goes without saying that a kid's show is going to have an episode about bullying at some point. I'm gonna start by quoting show head writer Megan McCarthy in regards to this one. It explores how you should handle a bully and sometimes what the source of bullying is. It's wrapped in a story that's really fun and funny and has music and doesn't feel heavy-handed. And yeah, I feel it succeeds on all of those points. It's pretty normal for kids to not want to tell an adult when they're being bullied, so the CMC had to learn that. I like that it also eventually paints Babs as a sympathetic character. The problem with Diamond TR and Silver Spoon, as fun as they are at times, they're pretty shallow characters and, at least up until Season 5, no real reason is given for why they are the way they are. At least no reason we can sympathize with. In Babs' case, they remind her of her own bullies back home, and she really didn't want to deal with being bullied again, so she kind of took on a kill-or-be-killed kind of mentality, figuring if she joined in on their bullying, she'd be spared from it. Obviously the wrong thing to do, but once we find out where she's coming from, it makes sense. I also get a kick out of her name being Bab Seed, as in Bad Seed, which isn't just a movie title. In general, it refers to a bad child. Though, being a fan of said movie, I can't hear the term without thinking about Rhoda. At least Babs wasn't as bad as her. And that song is great. Very upbeat, catchy, and kind of 80s-ish. I can totally imagine it being sung by the Go-Go's. This isn't one of my favorite episodes overall, but it does have one of my favorite songs. Next up is the return of Trixie in Magic Duel. See you then. Why so angry? Why so Seriously? Don't leave me! Don't leave me! 